When God created this planet, he created a beautiful planet. By the way, if you're an atheist, it's okay. When the cosmos energy created the planet, it's okay. Let's say God for now. That's an easy word to use. Okay? Let's say God for now. When God created this planet, he created a beautiful place. He created a species that was self-sufficient and protected. He says, I'm going to create the most perfect social, economic life form here that's totally taken care of. I'm going to create an oyster. Oyster, I'm giving you a shell to live in. That shell will be your free house. Free! Don't do anything for it. It'll be your free house and your free clothing. Free! You don't have to pay for it. Someone else pays for it. The rich guy, anybody pays for it. If you don't pay anything for it, it's free. Give it to you. And then, if you're hungry, and by the way, you want protection? I'm going to put you at the bottom of the ocean to protect you from your enemies. Hungry? You don't do anything. Open your mouth and food rushes in. You're full of closing. Hungry again? Open it up again. More food rushes in. Close it. You're done. You got food, clothing, shelter, care, protection. You don't do anything. It's being done for you. But you can't go very far. But you get all the necessities, you know, and everyone's taking care of it, not you. And then God created another species called the eagle. Says, eagle, you're a whole different trip. You want a house? Hey, I created all this. Go find one and build it. Eagle flies around, finds six stones on top of a mountain peak on top of a tree, builds a house. You want to have babies? Have them. But you support them. You figure a way to do it. And the eagle does. The eagle flies through miles of wind, snow, and rain to feed its young. Did you know the eagle is the only animal on the planet that flies into a hurricane to ride the thermals of the air that's in that thermal and energy and play? Only animal that does it because it's so powerful with its wings. It gets in, plays, it gets out. That's an eagle. An eagle is not successful 95% of the time. If you get 20 times it goes for an animal to, to capture and eat or bring its young, it will fail 19 times because it's so big. Where the hawk gets it almost every time, it's small, it's quick, it gets in there. The eagle is so cumbersome, they feel it coming, they feel the energy, they see how big it is, and sometimes they split, but yet it exists and it feeds its young. Now the eagle can go anywhere it wants. No boundaries, no conditions, no someone else taking care of them. Anywhere it wants. The eagle, and not the oyster, is the emblem of America. And that eagle is the emblem of those that graduate from our Paul Mitchell schools 